Right, so rather than make a, uh, a 15 minute video of me um, sawing and drilling and all that sort of stuff, I figured I'd just describe what I made for our seesaw. Uh, Teeter totter to Americans, but in Australia we call it a seesaw, so you'll have to bear with me. Um, so, what we've got here is a base made out of scrap timber I've had in the shed forever. Um, it's not quite 2x4s, it's actually 30mm by 90mm, so I don't even know where I got this timber from, but it's been in the shed forever. Um, so I thought I'd put it to good use. So the base is a metre long by 60 centimetres wide, and that's turned out to be definitely stable enough for our, what we need. It's uh, The basic frame here is held together with 65mm wood screws, just put straight in, and the pieces that are joined in here have used 50mm wood screws. So the base is a metre, three feet, by 60 centimetres, roughly two feet. The uprights are half a metre, so 50 centimetres high. Again, this is just what I had available, so but I didn't want to make it too high to start with. So I've cut holes at 30 centimetres and 40 centimetres, and I can also put a clamp on the top at 50 centimetres if I want. That gives us plenty of space to go up and make the ramp more aggressive, but also starts out fairly gentle because my son is young and I'm not very good at mountain biking. So, you know, we don't want to overcommit. Um, I did put a 65mm wood screw through here as a bit of extra bracing. Um, those are just a 45 degree angle cut and you can see there secured with three more of those 50mm wood screws. Right, so that's the box. It's all square angles or 45, so if you've got a mitre saw it's really, it's dead easy and then all you need is a drill and some screws. In terms of the width between the uprights, I ended up making it a bit wider than I needed to. Uh, the platform is only 45 centimetres wide, but the gap between them is about 54 centimetres. So there's almost four inches or 10 centimetres of spare space. So I didn't want it to be too tight of a fit because just in case I've never built anything like this before, I didn't want the plank as it went up and down to possibly get jammed in between the uprights in any way. So there's a fair bit of slack. All right, so the platform we ended up with was, I've ended up making something that's two and a half meters long, or about eight feet. I had some scrap floorboards in the shed forever, and a bit of scrap timber, you can see the different color there. So the floorboards I cut into 45 centimeter widths, Lots of people make it out of a much narrower plank, but like I said, my son is young and I'm not very good, so the wider the better for us. Um, most of the time I put two screws in each end and one screw through the centre. I'll show you, I'll flip it upside down and show you in the moment. I've got a centre rail. Right, so we flipped it over, let's have a look at what we've got underneath. I didn't have any lengths of timber long enough to make a solid piece, which obviously would be stronger. So what I did have was some about 2.1 meter lengths and as you can see here I've had to sort of dodgy up a join. It's held together on the other side by all the screws holding the planks together and I've put on a little piece of another scrap timber piece with some more screws that you can see there to hopefully reinforce that join. Whether or not it'll last I'm not sure but on this end at least I've got the two solid lengths running the length of this side plus one join. And if we move up to the other end, I've got one solid beam in the middle at this end, plus the two joins. So, time will tell I guess. If I need to reinforce it more, I can always add some more reinforcing on the insides I suppose, insides and outsides of the joins, to really strap it all together and that should hold it together. But I'm fairly light, so is my son, and we're not hitting it super hard, so hopefully that's okay. Right, I've just used, whatever you want to call them, saddle clips, pipe clamps, whatever you call them in your part of the world. Um, the whole board is 250 centimetres long, so two and a half metres long. I set these at 115 centimetres long, so about 10 centimetres off-centred, 
and that works really well. I should probably also mention, uh, thanks to the lovely maintenance guys where I work and their table saw, this was these rails were originally some of that 90 mil timber, the 30 by 90 mil. I got them to cut it in half lengthways, so it's 30 by about 45. Otherwise, I think if I'd kept the 90 mil rails, it would have been really much heavier. I think definitely 45 is deep enough and strong enough. It gives you enough timber to sink long screws into. Right. So let's ride it. Pause at the top, remember. Whoa! <laughs> Pause Bef after the halfway point, you doofus. Okay. <laughs> You alright? Okay, let's try that again then, shall we? Well, there we go. Homemade mountain bike, seesaw, teeter totter, whatever you want to call it. Tried and tested at 30 and 40 centimeter heights. Hasn't fallen apart yet, hasn't cracked. Hopefully, we get a lot of fun out of it. Pretty simple. Only took me about two and a half, three hours to make, and I am not a handyman. So, it's all like I said square angles, screws. Boom! <laughs> but you do have to get your speed right, don't you, son? Yep. <laughs> Alright, let's finish off on a good one. Proper finish. There we go.